Welcome on back to some more Elden Ring 100%. Anyway, let's play. Right now, we're gonna head back up here. Why don't I have this map yet? Oh yeah, we don't, haven't been there yet. So we're gonna go to the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. And we're gonna head over here. And then roughly here somewhere. We're gonna fight a boss in a boat. And then a death bird right there. I don't know if it has to be nighttime for the death bird to spawn. I don't think it has to. I remember my first run, I tried to fight him. I couldn't beat the death bird. It somewhat looks like nighttime anyway, so not a big deal. Not a big concern. So we're going to head down, down to number one. We have to make sure, obviously, we have our right weapon up. Obviously, this weapon will do a majority of the damage. Give us a new weapon. Death root. Drink a potion. And remove the darts because my mimic will use it. And that will not be cool. Um, we can also maybe change this and this, actually, now that I think of it. Because I don't think that... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it gives vigor. We want as much uh, faith as we can get, so maybe we'll change it to this. So we'll just take less damage, I would say, right? Um, I think that's fine enough for now. So we're going to head to marker 2. There's going to be a death bird. We'll use our summon. And we're going to have a good time, dude. With this bolt. Maybe it's a little bit lower. Yeah, it's a little bit lower. It should be here. Just see the range that I have on this thing. And the infinite heals. We actually got a hit from that. And that takes care of those two bosses. And we get the Death Ritual Spear from that. How good it is, I'm not sure. I'll tell you guys soon, hopefully. Holy, we just got healed full HP. <laughs> With him down, we're just gonna summon our horsey. I'm gonna make away this side. Drop down. If you need Fergal... This field has a lot of it. And we're gonna take down this... This battle also because, like, it's gonna get annoying. Huh. Us being in the castle all the time. <laughs> and you just hear the spell, dude. So we'll take him down.
All we gotta do is hit the weird looking stuff on his feet. Holy bro, he's Captain Morgan now. <laughs> I don't know exactly how many you have to take down. Oh my god. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know how many of them we have to take down though. Damage the horse. No, dude. No, move, move, move. Still not enough, you say. Left my runes there and we almost died, dude. Well, we could have died there and lose all that runes. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that that is done, two hard enemies gonna be here. Oh, we can bottleneck them down right here. If they want to. Frost will really hurt a lot. As you saw there. Wow, they killed me. We didn't have a rune arc active, so we'll just activate it now also. Uh, we can also use a summon here, so, you know. We also should have spent the runes. We had 150,000. Get out of here. Ah. 
So that's worth. Uh, we're just going to rest again uh, so we can actually get our summon ready for what's about to come. I don't know when we're going to rest again, dude. We're not going to rest inside, hopefully. We'll check. Now we should also just spend the runes. Get uh, that faith even higher. 124,000 to level up again. So we're gonna run straight here. I think this is Somber 8 here. Oh, it's Somber 5, bro. Goodness. I'm just gonna make a way here. I don't believe there's any loot here. Doesn't look like it. We're gonna grab that piece of candy right there, and then we're gonna come through these doors. Or that entrance there. So, for for Furl calling finger remedy. Okay, it didn't drop any dude for us. Get on up. Once we're above here. Fan daggers. Make a way across, but there should be ballista guys here. Jesus, bro. Oh my goodness. This is not cool. So you would actually... You would actually use your heavy shield here. They explode afterwards as well. Listen, you bitch. What? I right. think you go south against me, son. Huh? Idiot. Somber six. We're gonna open a shortcut. We'll come back up here. We have to drop down. If we do die, we get a painting. The sorcerer painting. So. We're gonna make our way here soon, don't worry. I just opened up a shortcut. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna open the door from the other side. Okay, jump up this wall here. And I aim to you. Whee. Okay, we got an axe. And I believe that's all the loot here. So, just to kind of show you guys where we are right now. Um... So underneath here, we got some loot. The grace that we took is right there. We fought the two big lions right there as well. So now we have a shortcut into this room if you ever want it. Um, right underneath us is where we picked up a, a candy, I think. I'm not too sure. Okay.
The guy is archer archering at us. Still shooting at us, dude. Got a bigger enemy here. Stop shooting me, Mabri. Got a grace in that room. I don't think we're gonna go to here just yet, but let me just check. Yeah, let's go get the grace. For just in case. You can maybe open the door from this side. You can't. Okay, now we're gonna head outside again. Up the ladder here. And to the right, there will be a goodie. A smithing five. We make our way across here. <clears throat> Some more goodies. Golden Rune 9. Okay, that was a little bit painful. And that's because we're frostbite, dude. Once you're frostbite, you take extra damage. Extra damage. I believe that's all we get here. Stone Sword Key. I don't think we can drop down anywhere else. So now we're gonna technically rest, but we're teleporting at the same time. Just to cover the ground. And that is done with that zone. So we're coming here. Eclipse. I uh, should tell of doom. I don't think we're going to open up this door. No. Okay, so we're going to head this way. Up the ladder. I can already hear an archer shooting at us. Both hit me. And then we're gonna go for that guy soon. We're just gonna go around this corner here. And fight this guy. He's pretty strong. I think it's the same guy we just fought, literally. He's not. No, we're dead. Bro, he has, like, no stamina, honestly. Right? Or am I wrong when I'm saying that? He just swung, 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 swung. And then as I'm healing, he swung again. So that's swunging. I mean, swelling, you know? I think what I'll do is I'll just pop those once we get a little bit closer. Can I climb? Yeah. Okay. He's doing a teleport first. Ow. 
Kind of stock. Holy shit, I was close. Oh my goodness, that was close. We almost lost our runes. It's 60,000, but still, dude. Uh, so ideally, how we would fight him is with... Uh, is with a great shield. You'll just parry him, and then you just R2 afterwards. So he, you will stop his attack in his tracks, literally. Um, but yeah. Could have gone worse. We could have died again. Would not be cool. Okay, whatever. That guy, I'm not going to fight him. Um, I'm going to make our way down here. It's going to be rats down here. Number seven. No one else here. That archer is still up there, though, which really sucks. Got a rune arc. I don't think it's going to come down for us. I honestly don't think that... Yeah, I think this is it. So we're going to teleport back again to the Church of Eclipse. Okay. So soon we're going to just sprint through our zone, guys, because, you know, I don't have enough strength to use a strong bow. We're going to sprint through and go straight to the boss. Um, I honestly just don't want to deal with these things, so I'm going to just sprint. So if you sprint here, they shouldn't touch you. We're going to enter, summon, and just heal. So my Mimic should be able to take care of the majority of them. Can I? Thank you. a big one. Fairly easy. Get the veteran's prothesis. And that's also another achievement. So this is one of the bosses you have to do if you want to get platinum. Need to get our faith up to 80, dude. Can summon a horsey here. Gonna get up here.
And that concludes this castle. Yeah. After we get our item. Secret medallion. And I don't think there's anything behind here. So that's the second half of the secret medallion that we got. So right now we're going to go back to that marker. No, it's roughly here. Where we killed the... The death bird. And we did all of that without hearing gong the whole time. That was nice. So. Stupid bell. <laughs> can't, still can't believe it actually killed me, dude. I honestly don't know what these stuff is worth. Uh, what they can craft. So there was an item here that we missed. Honestly, I didn't know it was here because the guy had left this guy afterwards. There it is. Starlight Shard. So it's actually here, by the way. Not there. And then we're going to warp on here to the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Okay, we marked out some spots here that we're going to hit. Uh, we're going to do the Earth Tree. Uh, we're going to grab some loot on the bridge. We're going to grab some loot here as well. I think it's there. Uh, there's a merchant here. There's some ruins here. And also, we're going to get the painting that's over there. Uh, this shack is where we... Uh, fought one of the invasions to finish off one of the quest lines for uh, Volcano Manor. Now, before you go there, uh, you need to have the summon. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't really have a spot to put it on, do we? We can maybe put it here. Yeah, you can put summons here. So you need the jellyfish summon um, to do the section that we're going to now, right now. I think I might have put it away. So I think it's in my chest now. So, sword chest. So there's a the jellyfish. You need to have the jellyfish. So we're going to make our way to the bridge that's right here, next to us. And we're going to uh, we're gonna fight uh, one of the, I don't know, Earth Tree Defenders. Uh, this one is going to cast an illusion or an image as well. It's going to literally split into two. Um, the best way to deal with them is to try and group them up with this weapon. In the image now. So this is a uh, perfect for us because yeah, <laughs> you could see there, it's AOE damage. So like, this is gonna get destroyed, and we'll get two extra tears here: cerulean tear, uh, cerulean crystal tear, and also the crimson bubble tear. Two runes we most probably will never use. <laughs> Don't have to kill these guys, obviously. Uh, 
now we're gonna make our way right before the bridge uh we're gonna go down here pick up a rune 10 golden rune 10 and then we're gonna make our way across and this will continue on with this storyline Somberstone 9. Ah, nice to see you. I can't believe you've come all this way. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the Master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the Golden Order. A conceit, I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility, but somehow I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Oh, Master, put my mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you. To be your scribe. <laughs> Look at the me. I'm a flower. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a joke, bro. Well, now that we're faithful, we should actually look what he's selling. There might be something nice. You need something else. I'm gonna see if I need something else. Uh, flame sling. Like, I'm just going through the names here, seeing if anything. Increase fire damage negation. Okay, no. Uh, cure Lord Seal. Nope, we don't need anything there. So, down there is where we need to go, but very hard. Like, I would not recommend coming from this side. So, we're gonna go down first. We don't have to do this, but I'm going to take care of these two bats here, just for in case. Ain't nobody got time for that. Where did you go? Do not kill this guy, please. Inventory. So you get a fancy spin there. The seal has been broken somewhere. And it's a seal right here. So we get an emote. That's the real reward for coming here. And we get a... I don't know if this thing is decent for our build or not. I'm not too sure. Uh, because this thing is... Decreasing your health. Dude, it goes down almost... 300 it's about 280 our health goes down by uh, but it, it reduces the uh, FP of your abilities but your maximum HP is reduced I don't know how much it is exactly but I assume it's a decent amount the thing is though um, like even though we're casting the whole time technically an ability I honestly do think it's not worth because the spell is going to heal us for 10% of our total health. So if our health is 50,000, right, it will heal us 5,000 every time we use it. So uh, the goal with this build is to have as much HP as possible. Um, so yeah. We're going to come over here for the painting. Okay, looks like he's not aiming to us. I'm gonna go down there. Towards the Merchant of Doom. I 
I think the jellyfish is one of the first summons you get in the game if you guys don't have it. You clearly didn't watch part one. I'm pretty sure about that. Sorry about that, my mom just came in. Okay, we got the merchant here. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? So we're gonna buy the cookbook. We're gonna buy some runes, all of it. I uh, don't think we need stone sword keys. We have 24 of them, so no, we don't need any, need any more, that's for sure. Uh, if there's any arrows you need here, buy it. I don't know if I need anything. Um, we have 38 of those, 30, uh, with 99, and quite a few of this stored. The gear set, on the other hand, looks pretty decent. I wish there was like a compare button, you know? But yeah, I think our gear is fine. As long as you... As long as you have more than 51 poise, hmm, that's what maybe is the problem here. Uh, we need 51 poise, so we'll put on something a little bit better. <laughs> uh, pretty weird, but yeah, understandable, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna head here again, the snow valley, and we're gonna make our way... I think it's over here. Yeah, we're gonna make our way here. Uh, we're gonna take out that guy that shot, uh, shot lasers at us. So, get to the, the revenge on him. Um, I don't think he does anything close or anything else other than the laser. I'm unaware. Uh, the guy that I'm watching is skipping him. But for me, in my eyes, I see it as another boss. Because if you kill him, he's permanent dead. So... Goodness, Mabri. Uh, make our way down here. Since this is where Marker is. Uh, we're also gonna just like swish around here for some loot. Um, there's like three, maybe four pieces here. So we got two root tens there. Not bad. Rune 11. Some human shards. They'll take care of this guy now. I honestly don't know how to fight them. Goodness, he has a lot of HP. Goodness, Mabri. I feel like I got cheated here. <laughs> uh, remove the markers. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. So we are going to head down here to the giant grave post. Okay, so we teleported to the giant's clubwort, and now we're going to make our way here. We're not going to stop anywhere or do anything weird. We're just going to run straight there. If there's... If there's any loose loots laying around, I will definitely pick it up. Uh, these giants, if you kill them, they will spawn again, so... If you run too close to them, they might give you a fire breath or a breath. You can see there's quite a few handsies here.
They are fast and creepy. That might be death. Oh, we didn't die. That's what I'm talking about. We took the damage way later, but... Get some meat. Just looking around for some loot. I'm gonna just grab mostly just the big loot, though. Thank you for that, Hansy. Am I gonna climb up here? That's freaking creepy, dude. Oof, this graphics. Panty is wet, I'm sorry. Let's get it on. I mean, while we wait for the elevator to go down, if you want a throwing something, maybe even a bow if you want. Uh, because we're gonna shoot some stuff. So here's where we're gonna get flame resistance for five bolts. Flame protect me. That scales up with with uh, faith, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it anytime soon. Even though these guys are using fire. <laughs> Goodness, Miss Kuzi. Sorry about that. Couldn't mute myself in time. Okay, so. Slap that wall. Gonna come in here for some loot. There's nothing else here, so we're gonna just drop down into the light. And then we're gonna get cat here. so weird we can move through them but you can't hit them and they can hit you Please don't die. Oh, Oof. dude. <laughs> Oof, dude, dude. Oof. Not even close, baby. <laughs> so if you didn't break the the secret wall, you would have came down here. Uh, we dropped down there for the loot and as well for the light. We we just were there. So there's going to be two more imps that's going to spawn here. So we're just going to grab that and we're going to sprint to the top. Let them get to the light. Thank you for the heals, buddy. So this is why you want a throwing knife, but I think it's too far. So we're gonna just run. I think we were ran too late. I'm dead. Oh my goodness. Grab out your throwing knife. 
well done. There we go. Whew, okay, so nothing else here. And you can obviously see you can't jump on it, but we need to activate it again. Once you activate it, run. <gasps> Okay. The reason why we activated is for this room coming up now. It's for the light to be at the top here. The light has to be here. Oh no, the light, the light got away. go now you can disable the light by just hitting the metal and now the flames is also gone so we got the cranial vessel candle stand goodness what a name bro okay there's nothing else here this was also a white wall so didn't have to do it uh, apparently this weapon that we just got the crandle stand is actually one of the best faith weapons also in the game. So pretty cool uh, faith stuff we're getting in the, in this area. Obviously, I have my faith weapon. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy. I'm sitting. I'm sitting here with a smile. Let's be honest here. We're gonna hit this thing, go down. We're gonna hit it again to go up. We're gonna hit it again to go down. You can see when it goes up, I think the light will be here. Yeah. So we're going to hit it again. And go in here. I turn the light. Now the light is over here. So we'll kill another cat. Oh, it's doing his frost thing, I think. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, honestly, can you just move? There we go. It's gonna be two more of them. Oh, one more, actually, on there. We're gonna come this way. That's nothing. Uh, here's the ladder. We're gonna grab this. And here is one of the bowels in this room.
<laughs> He's using that ability. Pretty good. <laughs> He's using that ability, dude. Uh, the Ash of War that I represented to you guys at the end of the previous episode. So get the Great War, a Great Grave Glove, a Grove. Glove War. Goodness. Okay, and we're back here. Now you can, if you want to, pull this guy over here and, like, fight him if you want. We're instead just gonna grab that and get out of here. They can't come here, so it doesn't matter. Goodness, bro. What a ladder, honestly. Okay, so those doors are closed. Grab a little bit of this. And then we're back. Yes, who's big? Grab this lever. Lever, say lever. And I'll see big boy. The big boy. So, to get a light back here, all you gotta do is bada bim bada boom. I think. It has to be this. Yeah. So now we just gotta grab a big bar. And uh, he's gonna be the guy that opens up the gate for him, for us, after we take his ass down. He's ready, bro. Sit your ways. Whoa. Wow. Well, that's one way to make sure that I can't get there. Ah. Goodness. And that opened up the boss room all the way down there. Which really sucks, though, because we are empty. That's okay. We'll heal ourselves. We'll summon heal, you know, instantly. More glove word 9, so... If you wanted to test out a new summon, this is the time to do so. I honestly don't know where this grace is. Yeah, we're really far away from it, so it doesn't really matter. Enter, summon, heal. This is already half HP, bro. Zammer Curved Sword. We get his full gear set. Which actually looks pretty nice, bro. But wait. Like, if as long as we have 51 poise, we'll actually use it. Yeah, we're already dropping from there, so that's really sucky. So, Wide Read Armor. This is a samurai gear set. Um, yeah, we can't... We, you, you can't be below 51 poise. You need 51. Uh, that means we can cast through ability attacks, if that makes sense. A gear set is fine as is. It looks pretty decent, I would say. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna go here. Um, and then we're gonna go here somewhere. I think. So we're gonna warp to a giant's grave. Ooh, grave, yes. The giant grave. The giant's... The grave of giants. <laughs> okay, so we're running straight to an invasion. And then after the invasion, we'll get a church. And we'll get our final tier. Which means our potions will be plus 12. I don't know if we can go higher in the DLC. Haven't much... Haven't watched much of it yet. So if there's any loot laying around, just grab and run, dude. Because there's all kinds of terror here. Giants fighting giant birds. Giant birds. Giants. Giant dogs. There's just all kinds of trouble here. So right here we should get invaded. This could be troublesome. So how about I get you in here? And then we'll see how you heal. Rivers of Blood, apparently also one of the best weapons in the game. And then we have the Okina Mask, which is a dexterity mask. Which was what I was looking for when I was playing decks. We have the Sacred Tear. And then we have the Grace in here. So we're gonna we'll just level up here our flasks. So this is gonna go to the maximum amount now. So increase our HP to the maximum amount. And also we will uh, level up here. We need about 120. I think we'll we'll get that. 65. Yeah, it needs yeah, exactly 65. That's how much we need. Oof. I don't think we should try. No, no, we can definitely do it. Most in Jupiter Blair. Where the heck am I in? So we need eight thousand more. Level up that faith even more, my bro. And we're gonna actually end the video here, guys. Hopefully that enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.